Update, 4.30 p.m. The Virginia State Police has charged a South Carolina man after two hit-and-run crashes and intentionally ramming a Newport News, Virginia police car Monday morning on Interstate 81. The report said the first crash occurred just after 8.30 a.m. when a 2010 Honda Odyssey ran off the road in Wythe County, crashed through a fence and almost hit a house. The van driven by Roy T. Crutchfield, 40, of Walterboro, South Carolina, then traveled onto Interstate 81 southbound and rammed the police cruiser, causing it to crash into a guardrail, the VSP said. The two deputies were not injured and Smythe County Sheriff Chip Shuler noted that the officers were transporting a prisoner from Newport News to Wallens Ridge State Prison in Big Stone Gap. The vehicle was then spotted in a park and ride lot located off of Exit 80 in Wythe County by a Smythe County deputy who was helping in the search and he detained Crutchfield. Further investigation revealed that the van Crutchfield was driving was stolen and a 35-year-old female passenger, who was an acquaintance of the suspect, had been abducted by him Sunday night. She was not injured in the crashes. Crutchfield is charged with two felony counts of attempted capital murder and one count of abduction, hit and run, unauthorized use of a vehicle, destruction of property and two misdemeanor counts of hit and run and possession of marijuana, the state police report said. Underscore. A search for a suspect that stretched over hundreds of miles Monday morning ended in Smythe County. Sheriff Chip Shuler told News 5. Police were seeking a suspect in a stolen van and the investigation extended into southwest Virginia. Shuler said they assisted the Virginia State Police and other surrounding law enforcement agencies in extending a dragnet down into State 81. Shuler confirmed that the suspect rammed a police prisoner transport. It was not an accident, the sheriff said. A sergeant with the Smythe County Sheriff's Office spotted the van in a turnaround area just off of the interstate and was able to successfully end the chase and stop the suspect, who was then taken into custody by another agency, Shuler said. A female who was also in the van was taken away by police. The sheriff noted that the Virginia State Police were in charge of the investigation and more information would likely be released later today.